Dun dun dun! Welcome to my egg quarters. <laughs> Sorry. Well, everyone can see how much fun I'm having in my Vitesse gaming chair. But the question is, is the fun worth it? Well, let's think about it. Much of our lives are increasingly sedentary. A lot of people, maybe even you, spend most of the day in a single seated position. Over time, this impacts our spine, our neck, and overall negatively impacts our health. Now, a lot of solutions have come out to try to address these problems, right? They have standing desks, medicine balls, but all these come with their problems too. If you only seldom use a computer, I'd say that a gaming chair probably isn't for you. But if you or someone you know sits almost all day at a computer or spends many, many hours in front of a computer at home for whatever reason, home or work, then a gaming chair is 100% worth the investment. Gaming chairs help the body in a way that keeps the body healthy, right? You are able to maintain proper posture without fatiguing your back, which normally wilts throughout the day. So your body saves energy by not having to keep itself working hard to stay in a proper posture, and this energy saved can go right back into staying productive. Okay, so you don't waste energy keeping yourself in a nice posture, you don't develop any negative physical effects. Now, of course, you still have to go out and find time to exercise to give yourself the positive physical attention it needs, but what the gaming chair does is it allows you to exist in this nice, comfortable, safe, neutral zone. Ah, okay. So we've decided that we want a gaming chair. But the question is, is this gaming chair worth it? Let's take a closer look. When we look inside the instruction manual, we see that we have a nice parts list that shows everything we need. The seating area dimensions, we have 14.9 inches by 22 inches. The backrest dimensions, 20.5 inch by 33 and a half inch. The adjustable seat height goes from 13.7 inches to 18.5 inches. This Vitesse gaming chair is really competitive in the market. It's less expensive than many of the gaming chairs I've seen and really packs a lot of features. It uses premium materials designed ergonomically and made preciously. It's got a large wide seat and back. The thick back and deep bucket seat provide extra comfort for any purpose home, office, and of course, the occasional video conference. The material is a high density shaping foam, making it super comfortable, giving it elasticity and resilience. This also means it'll have a long life. Every extra year you get out of it means it's less expensive per day. The frame is a thick 1.8 millimeter steel, making it really sturdy and stable. It has an independently developed frame for the chair, using high intensity steel. And the steel actually passed the European E1 environment painting test, proving it avoids rust. As you saw in my hero entrance, it has a 360 degree swivel. The backrest is adjustable 90 degrees to 180 degrees. You can get a massage here, okay? It has a class three explosion proof gas lift and premium rubber rolling casters, keeping the wheels quiet and not scratching the floors. I'll say that one more time. It doesn't scratch the floors. Okay, more on the ergonomic support. We have three points supporting the head, the spine, and the lumbar with a removable head cushion and lumbar cushion. The chair itself can support up to 300 pounds. That's enough for a mall Santa Claus to sit here and ask the kids what they want for Christmas, and I bet they want this chair. In fact, I miss it. I don't know why I'm sitting here. I'm going back. This chair is awesome. Ah. So if you or anyone you know sits at the computer all day for any reason, gaming or not, then the Vitesse gaming chair is a perfect fit for you. It's a product that not only improves your life, but also keeps you healthy. It keeps you physically healthy, right? And you don't physically regress just because you have to sit down all day. That's the power of a powerful product. <laughs> this has been New Egg Now, and now you know. Hello, my wonderful, beautiful eggheads. Are you a gamer, live streamer, or digital artist? Do you know someone who fits this description? If so, then you're in the right place. Let's get down to brass tacks and talk about the benefits of a gaming desk. Now, I don't know what kind of desk you have right now, but I wanna first share a quick personal story. Okay, I love saving money. I'm very passionate about it, that's why I'm here. I love helping people like you save money. And if we are meant 
to spend our hard-earned dollars? Well, it better be for something that delivers value, helps us earn that money back, and maybe even more. All right, so my first computer desk a long time ago was a $25 flimsy abomination. It was actually four PVC pipes as legs and a plastic top. Okay, it was flimsy, it wobbled, it shook. I mean, this thing was terrible. When I tried to play games with my friends, I couldn't aim right because in the heat of battle, the desk would shake and I'd lose. I couldn't play as well as anybody. When I was trying to use Photoshop and trying to do anything that involved distinct movements, my desk would shake and I'd have to retrace my steps. I'd get frustrated. Everything would take more time and therefore, yes, I wasted money. The space on the table was so cramped and, and tiny. When I was writing my college thesis, I wanted my computer here, my books here and my journals here, but it was all cramped together. I couldn't think. I got so frustrated, I think it actually affected my personal life, right? If only there were a large, spacious, sturdy desk that could help someone like me reach my potential without these annoying, tedious interruptions. There is. Enter the Vitesse 55-inch computer gaming desk. Here we are, okay. Let's first talk about the space. The first thing you need to note about this desk is the space. This desk has more space than my ex-girlfriend wanted from me. Just kidding, sort of. But the space is massive. And for gamers and digital artists, space is king. The more space you have, the less focused you are on the clutter. And the more energy you can put into your work or into your game. And some research suggests that the type of desk you have can actually affect how well you play your games. The exact dimensions, 55 inches long, 23.6 inches deep. This desk is constructed with premium density fiberboard with a PVC surface and a high durability steel coated frame. It has an L-shaped design with four leveling feet to make sure your desk always stays perfectly horizontal. Oh, say goodbye to those wobbles. I hate wobbles. The carbon fiber surface finish is stylish, durable, waterproof, comfortable to touch, and the steel tube frame is firm enough to support up to 260 pounds of load. So don't worry, it'll be strong enough and big enough to support all the great Newegg products that you want on your desk. The tabletop itself is quite thin, which is awesome. That means it's super customizable, perfect for desk lamps, microphones, or whatever else you want to clip on. You'll also notice that the desk has a cup holder. That sounds a little dangerous, okay? You no longer even have to spend two calories to get up and get a drink. Can anyone say Counter-Strike and Jello shots? I'm just kidding, Coca-Cola. <clears throat> the gaming controller rack. So PS4 controllers, headsets, place a phone there while playing a mobile game. You can put movies here, anything you want to make it your gaming universe, put that on the desk, really completes the, the feel. And you'll notice on the bottom, there are actually four USB ports. So this gaming controller rack actually doubles as a charging station. So if you need to charge your phone or your tablet or any other kind of smart device, external USB, plug it in, whatever you need, they have taken care of you. At the back end of the desk and behind, you'll notice first two cable grommets and an entire cable organizer. So they have given you everything you need to minimize clutter and maximize space. They've really thought it out. And the last surprise I have for you here is the entire surface is a freaking mouse pad. The entire thing. <laughs> Vitesse has really gone all out in thinking about everything that a gamer needs and it really shows. This whole surface is a mouse pad. So no matter how you game or how you work, you have the most expansive place to play. You have the cable grommets and the cable organizer to minimize your clutter. You've got the cup holder, you've got the headphone hook, You've got the controller rack and a surface that can handle as much baggage as a teenager getting done to perform prom if that metaphorical baggage weighs 260 pounds. Yes, it is a little more expensive than four PVC pipe legs and a plastic top, but it pays for itself over and over again with how much time you save being efficient and how much energy you save not being frustrated. So if you are a gamer, live streamer, or digital artist, or know someone who is, Treat yourself to a spacious, sturdy, well-designed table. Remove physical limitations. Set your mind free with the Vitesse 55-inch computer gaming desk. 
This has been New Egg Now, and now you know. Hey there, eggheads. How's everyone doing today? I'm really excited about this next product because it's all about options. You know, in this day and age, we have way too many devices. Do you even know how many USB devices you own? How many smart devices you own? We've got Google, Amazon, Alexa. We have USB 2, USB 3. We have devices to record video, to record sound. Do you ever find yourself having to unplug one device just to be able to plug in another? At my house, I have to unplug an external hard drive just to plug in a microphone to make voiceovers. And then I have to undo all that to be able to save it. It's a whole mess. Anyway, it's hard to have a system that's set up to support all devices simultaneously. Or is it? Enter the Wavelink USB 3.0 Universal Docking Station. Bum, bum, bum. There's docking stations, and then there's docking stations. Okay, I know we've all seen docking stations that add extra USB ports. Sure. Fine. This is a lot more than that. Let's take a look inside the box. Okay, so we open the box and we have our docking station. <laughs> Probably our power cords. Okay, great. And our stands. Perfect. All right. This is a nice beauty. Check this out. So inside the box, Wavelink has provided us with absolutely everything we need. Let's take a look. They have a stand. So if you need the docking station to stand upright, you can of course do that. It'll look nice on the edge of a table or maybe on the floor. You can also place the docking station on its back like so. But let's take a look at the meat, shall we? So of course we have our USB ports. We have four USB 2.0 ports, perfect for your keyboard, your mouse, maybe a USB massage ball, whatever USB connector, external hard drive. We have two USB 3.0 ports. Those are the ones in blue here. These, one of them actually doubles as a quick charging port. All right, it has 1.5 amps, quick charging for any smartphone you might have. That's really cool. We have a gigabit ethernet LAN port, okay? And on the top here, you'll notice there's a 3.5 millimeter line in and out for microphone and headphone jack. Uh, and one of the best features on this docking station, that's right, I'm really excited about this. Check this out. We have an HDMI and DVI output. We have two video outputs that can be used simultaneously. I want to say that one more time. We have HDMI and DVI that can be used simultaneously and get a few types of video modes. One, you can have A, B screens, so two totally different screens. You can set them up for mirroring mode, so each screen shows the same thing. And then you can also have an extended screen. You can take two external monitors and actually turn them into one large screen of 2K resolution using this right here. To do that, you plug in both your monitors and then use this USB 3.0 cable, plug that into your computer, you'll have two screens simultaneously working together for a large 2K, you know, hodgepodge of a screen. That's awesome. So an important question is, can I use the docking station with my computer system? It has system support for Windows 10, 8.1, 8, 7, Windows XP, Mac OS, and Android 5.0 or higher. There is a two year warranty included in the device. So, in a world with more and more devices, where our computers only have two or three ports, it becomes more important to have a suitable USB docking station. But let's review what kind of functionality we have. Of course, we have our four USB 2.0 ports for keyboard, mouse, coffee maker, massage ball, whatever it is. We've got the two USB 3.0 ports with one as a quick charging port, 1.5 amps. We have the gigabit ethernet LAN port on top we have 3.5 millimeter line in and out for audio. And we have, of course, the awesome feature of dual screen simultaneous output. We have DVI and HDMI together to, that help you take two external monitors and make one large 2K screen. Of course, you can have mirror screens or AB screens, whatever you want. Comes with a two year warranty. Whether you have Windows 10, 8.1, 8, 7, XP, or Mac OS, it's all gonna work for you. The Wavelink. USB 3.0 Universal Docking Station. This has been New Egg Now, and now you know. 
Hey everyone, it's Kenan, your trusted tech nerd for all things value-packed. Now, I don't know if you have any plans in the near future to make a DIY desktop computer, but if you're going to do that, you must know that a suitable power supply is very important. And I don't know when it started, but it seems like high power power supplies right now are all the rage. I don't know if it's because CPUs and graphics cards are just so expensive that no one cares about how much money they dish out for power supplies, am I right? I'm just kidding. But clearly, using a high power power supply does have its benefits. Number one, it can make your expensive CPU and graphics card last much longer. Number two, it can decrease the amount of electricity you use, making you more energy efficient. And three, the other functions can bring you more convenience and stability while using it. I have here the Segotep Xingu GP Series 750 watt gold power supply. Xingu is a desktop power supply company that has been around for a long time, longer than me, and I'm pretty old. They were founded in 1986 and have a worldwide reputation for power supplies, chassis, and radiators. Now I said before that a good power supply can make your CPU and your graphics card last much longer. This is marked with 750 watts. But how much power do we really need? I ran some tests. Okay, when browsing the web and replying to emails, a computer needs only about 60 to 100 watts. I have here that if you are going to play games or make videos, you need about 120 to 350 watts. Now we might get a little technical here, but when a power supply is at 50% load, okay, 50% load, that means that we are at peak efficiency. That means that internal temperature and stability are at peak performance. So if you're using a full set of high-end capabilities, you know, you're playing high-res games, you're editing films, you're live streaming or whatever, choosing a 750 watt power supply is not only appropriate, but it's essential for the long-term health of your computer. Remember, a 750 watt power supply means that it can provide up to 750 watts of power, but it doesn't mean that the power consumption will remain at 750 watts. The actual power consumption depends on the motherboard, the CPU, the graphics card, etc., how they're all being used, and the power supply will only provide the amount of required power. Two, remember I said that we can decrease the electricity expense. As I said before, when a power supply is at 50% load, we are at peak efficiency. What this means is that our power conversion rate is at its strongest, at its highest. So what does that mean? That means to output a certain X amount of power. The amount of power input required is the least. If you're still on the fence for some reason, I'll have you know that this power supply has passed the 80 plus gold certification. I haven't heard of that certification. Let me explain. 80 plus is recognized as one of the most stringent power saving codes in the world, which is directly related to your monthly electricity bill. At the beginning, it was divided into four levels, 80 plus, 80 plus bronze, 80 plus silver, 80 plus gold. Later, two higher levels were added, namely 80 plus platinum and 80 plus titanium. The 80 plus gold standard used by this device refers to the power conversion rate of 87% at 20% load. If it's a 50% load, the conversion efficiency at this time is the highest, which can reach 90%. And if it's 100% full time, full load operation, the conversion rate can still maintain more than 87%. This means that your entire setup is more energy efficient and environmentally friendly. Then you may be wondering, what are the conversion rates of the other levels? You know, is, is gold actually good or should I need, do I need something better? Let me answer you. The most basic 80 plus standard, no matter the workload, the conversion rate can reach 80%, okay? The most basic, 80%. Remember, 80 plus gold is 87 to 90% depending on the load. Now, titanium standard has between 90 and 94% conversion depending on load. Please refer to the picture for detailed comparison. As you can see, the gold metal is in the middle position. Maybe you've seen this when shopping for power supplies before. Products with reasonable prices and guaranteed quality are all basically 80 plus gold certified. You know, I don't want you to waste your money, okay? Spending tons of extra dollars for titanium standard 
just to get maybe up to 4% higher conversion, I don't think it's such great bang for your buck. I think we should just stick with the 80 plus gold. For high power power supplies, manufacturers typically add many small functions to make more useful. There are so many here that I'm gonna use my list to help us out. You've got OVP, that's over voltage protection. OCP, over current protection. OPP, over power protection. OLP, over load protection. UVP, under voltage protection. OTP, over temperature protection. SCP, short circuit protection. These features can automatically shut down your computer if the current or the temperature gets too high. Your computer will not fall to the hands of tiny mechanical failures. This power supply is also an APFC power supply. That is an active power factor correction power supply. What does that mean? This power supply not only saves power, but it also has wider voltage adaptability. So it works very stably under wide voltage fluctuations. All right. Let's look inside the box. Now, here we have a full module power supply, which means, whoa, nice, that we can select the cables we need individually. That makes it easier to organize within the chassis. What do I see here? Ah, the fan, the 140 millimeter super quiet fan. You will enjoy serene silence with this baby. But back to the cables. Ah, look at all these options. We have the 24 pin connector for the motherboard. We've got the connector for the SATA drive, the CD drive, and provided all these cables. Okay, check this out. We've got our motherboard cables, our SATA cables, our drive cables, whatever you need to connect inside your computer, it's all right here. Oh, here's an ancient fossil in the IT world. The famed 3.5 floppy disk. Yes, I know what this is, which means I need to go to a retirement home. You don't need to know what this is. Probably. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's review. It has 80 plus gold certification. It is environmentally friendly. It saves power. It has plus APFC active PFC design. It's got OVP, UVP, OPP, SCP, OCP, OTP, multiple protection measures. It comes with a five year warranty. These features can let you use it with confidence. It's also got full modular design, an additional switch button, and a 140 millimeter ultra quiet fan. You can hardly hear any movement while this is working in standby. That's pretty awesome. This is a very valuable high end product. 750 watts of power can be applied to almost all configurations. So whether you're browsing the web, working or playing games, making movies, you will not be disappointed. The standard for what makes a good power supply hasn't changed for many years. Invest well once and be pleased for years to come. In fact, I bet you can pass this on to your grandkids. Just kidding, you probably don't wanna do that. But anyway, that's it for today. I really hope this product brings you a lot of value. Thank you and see you next time.